Samantha Geimer was 13 years old and excited about becoming an actress. She thought she'd gotten her big break when her mom met famous director Roman Polanski. He asked to photograph Samantha for a magazine. These are some of the pictures Polanski took that day. They've never been seen before publicly. And you'd hope the photos might lead to what? More jobs, you know. We, I had done some commercials and I didn't really want to be a model, but I thought it'd be helpful. It sounds like the beginning of a Hollywood fairy tale, but during their first shoot, young Samantha quickly grew weary of Polanski. Actually, it went fine, but then he asked me to like change and change in front of him and stuff. It didn't feel right. And I, I didn't want to go thus to the second shoot. I didn't at that time have the like self-confidence to tell my, you know, my mother and everyone, no, I'm not going to go. It was during that second shoot that Samantha says Polanski's mood and motives clearly changed. I just didn't quite know how to get myself out of there. Samantha says Polanski sexually assaulted her after giving her a combination of champagne and quaaludes. Not much to tell you, except that I'm innocent. Polanski was arrested the next day. He claimed that the sex was consensual. You say today, as you've said all along, that what happened was not consensual. No, absolutely not. I know now it was not it was not the right thing to do, but it was there was no premeditation, you know. It was uh, something that just happened. That's when Polanski fled. The public was sympathetic to the famed director. After all, this was just a few years after Polanski lost his pregnant wife Sharon Tate in the Grizzly Manson murders. I just don't think it was his intention for all this to happen. You know, if he could, I'm sure he'd go back and he wouldn't do it again.